All right. Good morning. Are you William McClendon? Yes. Okay. Can you hear me, sir? Yes. Okay. Attorney Nicholson, can you hear me? Yes, Your Honor. All right. We are on the record in case number 24 CRA 00098, City of Shaker Heights versus William L. McClendon, Jr. Mr. McClendon, I have a complaint before me that was filed by the City of Shaker Heights this morning, and the complaint states that on or about February 20th, 2024, at 0633 hours on Chagrin Boulevard in Shaker Heights, one William L. McClendon Jr. did purposely attempt to cause the death of another or the unlawful termination of another's pregnancy. To wit, William L. McClendon Jr. did enter a BP gas station and discharge a firearm 16 times at Anton Clark, striking Clark eight times in all four of his extremities. This alleges a violation of the Ohio Revised Code, Section 2903.02 and 2923.02. This is known as attempted murder. The charge in this case is a felony of the first degree. I need to tell you the maximum penalties that apply if you were to be convicted of this offense. It's, it is a felony of the first degree. So the maximum term in prison for a felony of the first degree is a maximum of 11 years. This is also a qualifying offense that could be subject to indefinite sentencing that could increase the length of your sentence. The maximum fine for a felony of the first degree is $20,000. And those are the maximum penalties that apply for this charge. Attorney Nicholson has been assigned to represent you in this case. Uh, Mr. McClendon, you have the right to remain silent. Any statements that you make concerning the allegations in this case could be used against you if you decided to take your case to trial at a later time. Do you understand that, sir? Yes. Okay. Um, Attorney Nicholson, this initial appearance today as it relates to Mr. McClendon's right to a preliminary hearing, having spoken with you, has he made a decision about having or waiving a preliminary hearing? Thank you, Your Honor. After advising my client of his constitutional rights for a preliminary hearing, he's informed me that at this time he would like to have a date for a preliminary hearing scheduled. Okay. So, Mr. McClendon, we will schedule a preliminary hearing. That hearing will be scheduled within 10 days of your arrest, which I believe was yesterday. Okay. You want to double check that? All right. That preliminary hearing is going to be scheduled for March 1st, and that will be at 10.30 a.m. in this court. And before I hear from you, Attorney Nicholson, Prosecutor Keller is also present in court. Does the city wish to be heard as to bond? Just briefly, Your Honor, on behalf of the state of Ohio, um, I know the court is well aware of the fact that there are two problems that you have to consider in terms of a consideration of bond. Um, my understanding at this point in time, based on my familiarity with the investigation, is that the defendant does not have a previous criminal history. Um, I do believe that there are some other ancillary investigations by my agency um, that may impact that in the future, not related to this case. Um, and the second one being uh, a risk of flight and potential harm to the community. Um, obviously, he's a resident potentially no criminal history at this point in time. But our concern uh, is the allegations in this instance. The, the BP gas station is very close quarters. There were other innocent people inside of the store. Um, I can tell the court as an officer of the court, having reviewed surveillance video, there were 16 rounds discharged in that instance. Um, so for uh, an individual to have that kind of reckless disregard for the safety of others, I would just hope that the or takes that into consideration for the problem of, of potential risk or risk to the community. And, and I'm sure that uh, when you balance those in your sound discretion, you'll set an appropriate bond. All right, thank you. Attorney Nicholson, as to bond. Thank you, Your Honor. As Prosecutor Keller previously stated, my uh, client currently has no criminal background history whatsoever, Your Honor. He has significant ties to the community. He is gainfully employed at Cleveland Clinic main campus, Your Honor. He does have family in the area. He does also have two kids who live with him. He 
is financially responsible for, given to the fact that he is gainfully employed and given to the fact that he has significant ties to the community and he has no criminal background whatsoever, Your Honor, I respectfully request that you issue Mr. McClendon a very, very reasonable bond. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, and there are many factors that the court has to consider when setting bond, and um, many of those have been referenced by both sides. This is incredibly, um, this is an incredibly serious allegation in this case involving serious risk to the community and a very serious injury um, involving a firearm. Uh, I'm gonna set bond at this time at $500,000 cash or surety, and I am going to include specific conditions. No contact with Anton Clark, who's the alleged victim in this case, and uh, Mr. McClendon. Um, if you post your bond and you're released in this case, you're absolutely not to have any contact with Mr. Clark. No firearms um, are to be used or possessed by you while out on bond. Those are two conditions of bond in addition to posting the bond in this case. This matter is scheduled for a preliminary hearing on March 1st, 2024 at 10, 10.30 a.m. And this hearing is concluded. Thank you.